All right, I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys recognize this equation. Yes, and then recognize the same black ball and also the same shirt, right? Yeah. But this time, we are going to just solve for everybody, right? x1, x2, x3, and x4. So let's see how we can do it. So here's the deal. We are dealing with an equation with square roots. So of course, let's just go ahead and square everybody. And so the, perhaps this is like the more natural way to do it. All right, anyway. So when we open this, we'll just have this square, which is just x, right? And then add it to this times that, which I will just write here, square root. And um, of course, be, because of the domain, x has to be greater than zero. Actually, no. Well, x has to be a good number, right? x has to be greater than or equal to zero from here. And then from here, x has to be less than, yeah, by anyway though, I'm just going to multiply everybody inside. So this and that, x times 20 minus x. Now I'm just going to solve it because when you square both sides, at the end, we better solve it. We better check the answer anyway, right? All right. And then the right hand side is nice. Oh, sorry. Add this thing squared, which is 20 minus x. Okay. And then for this right here, I'm just going to write inside 20 plus 20x minus x squared. Cool. Very good. Because x and x cancel. Aha, here we have 20, and that 20 also cancel out. Um, now we will have to get rid of that square root, huh? Uh, let's just go ahead and square both sides. But if you look at this, if I square both sides here, and also just square both sides here, right? Square this side, that side here. Notice that the input here is actually quite similar. For this, I'm just going to write it as 20, no, 2. Ah, sorry. 2 squared is 4. 2 squared is 4. Yes. 2 squared is 4, yes. Square root square cancel. We'll just have the input, right? So it's just x times 20 minus x. On the right hand side, notice that we can factor out an x. And then I'm not going to square it. I'm just going to write it down like this. And the reason I didn't want to square this is because if we square it, if we expand everything, uh, it's going to be a lot of work. Why? Well, it is. You just go ahead and try it out. But now if you look at this and that, we can actually just do a quick substitution. I'm just going to call that to be y. Well, better yet, I'm just going to look at it as a variable. Let's train ourselves to not use a new variable if you don't want to. I'm just going to move this to the other side, so we are going to get parentheses x times 20 minus x, and then square, minus 4 times x times 20 minus x, like so, and that will be equal to 0. In fact, this is the quadratic equation, but in terms of this, so what we can do is now we can just factor it, x times 20 minus x, and then this inside still left, right? So x times 20 minus x. And then this right here, we just have the minus 4. And all in all, this is equal to 0. Much better this way. All right, so now from here, we can see that because we have everybody's multiplying, it's equal to 0. So from here, we know x has to be 0. And from here, we know x has to be 20. But for this, of course, we have to put this to be 0. Multiply this out, we will get negative x squared plus 20x, and then minus 4 is equal to 0. And just divide everybody by negative 1. So we get x squared minus 20x plus 4 is equal to 0. And let's just use the completing square. Move this 4 to the other side, so we have x squared minus 20x equals negative 4. For this number, let's go ahead, make sure this is 1, it is 1. Take half of that is negative 10. Square that is 100. So I will add 100 here, and I will also add 100 here. This gives us x minus 10 squared, and that's 96. Completing a square. Then take the square root on both sides, and then put a plus minus, get rid of this. So ladies and gentlemen, x is equal to 10. And then we have the plus or minus. And uh, let's see. Uh, square root of 20, square root of 
96 4 4 works huh because square root of 96 we can break it down as 4 times square root of 4 4 times 24 wait what no 16 16 16 is better so 16 and also 6 so this right here I'm just going to write yes 4 and that right here is square root of 6 yeah so we have our first second and also uh, the f well technically from the previous um, video this is x1 and this is actually x4 and then the minus version here is x3 and then the plus version is x no this is x2 and then x4 but anyway four solutions that's it